I've been talking about Silent Sam for many, many months since the statue was originally and illegally torn down on the UNC campus. North Carolina General Statute 100-2.1 is extremely clear that when a statue is removed, it has to be reinstalled within 90 days. The excuse I was always given was, we cannot repair the statue within 90 days. Once it gets repaired, then we'll deal with the issues of the law. Now the outgoing chancellor has actually taken away the base of the statue, further complicating the entire situation. The madness continues. It is very disheartening to see all of this occur. The Board of Trustees of the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill apparently being cognizant of this and allowing it to occur, even though the Board of Governors is supposed to be working with them to formulate a plan. I've come up with a great suggestion on how to deal with Silent Sam that I think comports with the North Carolina law and also should address all of the issues of reasonable parties. There's been talk about spending five plus million dollars to build a museum near the outskirts of the campus. But why would we not build some type of structure around Silent Sam, not only to protect the monument, but also to allow people to present their views, to actually allow different points of view, and perhaps even encourage other statues to be put up. I can think of two very good ones. I live in Wilmington, North Carolina, where the 1898 race riots occurred, where Democrats took over my city, murdered black people, closed down the black newspaper, ran the Republicans out of town. We have a monument to it here now. It would be great to see one up on the campus there at Chapel Hill. I can also think about something that was near and dear to my heart when I was in the North Carolina Senate and sought compensation for the people that were forcibly sterilized, mainly minority women, by the Democrat Party who controlled our state for decades, up until the 1970s, both at the county and the state level. How about a statue to those women, to those people who suffered? I can think of a lot of things we could do to talk about our history, to contextualize it without tearing it down and giving in to the whims of criminals who would rather destroy things rather than contextualize and talk about them. This is the way we do it under the rule of law. And the way things are allowed to go forward right now is lawless and very much worries me as an attorney who's dedicated my working life to seeing to it that the rule of law is enforced in North Carolina. I hope you will continue to stand with me. If you want to be effective in this fight, you need to pick up the phone and call your local legislators, your senator and your House member. You can do that by dialing 919-733-4111 and letting your voice be heard. God bless. We will continue this fight until the rule of law is reestablished in North Carolina.